최고 Alright, so today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got Leo here. He's going to try and catch a tilapia. So, it's pretty... He's caught a thousand before. So, um, yeah, weather's pretty bad and not really many options other than to take the kids down here to the goose ponds in Mackay. This place is overrun with tilapia, so I always get asked how to catch them. So, I'm going to show you now. Little float. About 30 centimetres and a nice juicy worm. Now whatever we don't use for bait, I'm going to put in Leo's dinner tonight. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll put it in. I'll find it and I'll put it in your dinner. And oh, then right. you'll be, and then you'll, yeah, right. you'll be, and then you'll have all wormies in your, in your beard. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah. That's what's happening tonight. <laughs> all right. We'll see how we go, eh? Yes, do it two days. All right. <laughs> He's got a cooked one there. Wee. All right, a little bit more about the rig, I guess. I should show you the size hooks and that. So yeah, I'm running a little size six. That's a BKK O'Shaughnessy. So um, yeah, that, and then that's just the smallest little float I could buy at the shop. Plenty of them around, plenty of different types. They all do the same job. And uh, there's a couple of worms left here, so. And good size worms. I just shred them on and then leave half the worms sort of hanging off, which, um, yeah, as they sort of squirm around, I guess the fish can't really resist. But all right, ready to go again, Leo? Yeah. So, we've had tilapia in the goose ponds here for a couple of years now, and they really make a mess of the place. You can see all the weeds all torn up and craters dug out from their little breeding nests. and they really are sort of taking a strong hold in the place and it's quite important to try and get as many as we can out while i don't think it's possible to completely eradicate them with the recreational fishing i think if it's uh something we can do to get the kids out of the house and teach them the ropes of how to use a fishing rod and that sort of thing then you know what's what's not to lose but way i'm usually looking for them is i'll walk along the bank and you can usually spot the fish if you've got a decent pair of polarized sunglasses but um, yeah, I generally just look for the nests. You'll see them all along the bank. If you find shallow areas, there's usually a few more nests in there and the fish are usually sitting in the nest and if they're not, they're not too far away. So I just get the worm and uh, float and chuck it in, into the middle of the nest and just have that worm floating about 10 centimeters off the bottom. And uh, I th I'm not sure whether they eat it just because they're annoyed that it's in their area moving around or if they're genuinely like them but I've definitely found the worms to probably be the best bait you see a lot of people using bread bread's okay I've caught a few on bread but definitely not as effective as worms so Paul mate what are you fishing for today tilapia what are you going to do with it when you catch it kill it yeah yeah well you better catch a big one when that float goes mate you got to pull wait for it to go they're just nibbling now, they're little ones. Bite. Wait till he goes. Wait, wait, wait. You watch that float. When it starts to go, you gotta wind it fast. Go now, go now, go now. Yes, yes, you got one. You got one. I know it's small. Bring it in then. Quick over the snot. Ugh. It's not. What? It's Jim the Brim. Jim the Brim? Yeah, hold him up. This is I caught it on whatever this is. A worm. A worm? A worm with snot on it. <laughs> what are we going to do with it now? Hopefully kill it if it's tilapia. It is a tilapia. Yes, kill it. <laughs> Alright. Let me unhook it. You want to hold it? Um, no, I don't want to hold it. I want to kill it. It's very small. Earthworm with snot, hey? I know. It can go in the bucket. Earthworm. Do it again? What? Catch another one? Yeah. Alright. I am flying! Wind it up. 
Alright, big cast. I want to see your best one. Don't get the hook on me. Okay, go. <laughs> In the snot. Wind your line a little bit, wind it a little bit. Okay, stop it there. Go, go, go. Oh, you got one. Yep, you got him. Yes. Oh, you pulled him off. Wait there. Hey, they're still there. They're coming back. Ready? And... Go, 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 go. Yes. 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 You got him. Pull him up over the snot. Over the snot. Snotty boy. <laughs> There's another tapila, whatever. <laughs> tapila? Tapila. Now flip, the, flip your thing on your line so the line can come out. There we go. Number two. Let's find a big one, hey? Go, you got him, you got him, you got him. No, you got to pull hard because you got to jam the hook in his mouth. Just wait, he'll come back. He's there again now. See how it's moving? Yeah, you got to pull it hard when you first get it because you got to put that hook into his mouth. Like hard. Yeah, but you got to not pull it out of the water. So you got to find the happy spot. So it doesn't come out of the water, but still gets the hook in the fish's mouth, okay? Yeah. Go. Here it is. Come on, bring him up. Whoa, that's a proper one. Quick walk down closer to the bank so you can get over the snot. Quick, whoa, that is a good one. Whoa, quick, bring him over. Oh my gosh. Quick, walk back with it. Walk back with it. Keep bringing it all the way. I'm not helping you if you want it to be yours. Come on. Oh yeah. Fish of the week. Yes. Look at that thing. Mm. There you go, mate. No. <laughs> Here's your fish. I don't want to hold it. You don't want to hold it? I'm Are you just... scared of it? No, I don't. No? I have to stop resisting. <laughs> What's up? I don't want to. You don't want to what? I'm going to do this. You got another good one? Come on, Leo, come down closer to the bank. <laughs> come on mate, lift the rod, fight him with the rod, pull pull back with the rod, and then wind when you come down, don't let that line go loose. Come on, lift him, lift the rod, use the rod to fight the fish, there you go. Okay, now wind down, wind down, put the rod down, now wind up, oh he's going to get you around the corner. This is another big one, wow. Quick, steer him away from the weed, bring him over this way, over this way. Now bring him up on the bank. What? That's bigger than the last one. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. This one's a beast, mate. This is way bigger than the last one. Yuck. Big snot monster. How do you feel, mate? Was that good? Yeah. Is that the best fight? Yeah. We're just going to kill him. Hey, Dad, <laughs> but... Are you going to dispatch him, mate? Well, won't we to take it We're out make and make him not he won't resist. He's resisting. Okay, I need to... Alright, well... Had enough, mate? Ready to go home? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. What are we going to do with them? We're going to throw them in the bin? Um, no, we're not going to throw them in the bin. What we're going to feed do? them to the dogs. The dogs won't eat them, man. They're gross. Well, I want to kill them then. They're already dead. You killed them. Well... It's... Well, yeah. Then. Yeah, well... If you're bored at home on the weekends and you got kids and you need to get them out, go and get some earthworms and... Help get rid of these Wait, things. There's plenty of them here for everyone. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys.